Welcome back. I've got a couple of bits in from KNF Concept to look at, so I thought I'd look at the first item, which is a two in one tripod plate and phone holder. They're calling it the Magic Plate. You do get some nice packaging with this, perhaps it's unnecessary, but we'll show you the plate, and the sizes are up on the screen for you. So, this is a bit bigger than most of the plates out there in terms of the length. To show you the underside so you can see that there's the screw there with the D ring and the slot. Now, this is Arca Swiss compatible, so it's based on that design, so you should have no problems using it on different heads. Quick close up shot showing you some of the rubber pads that they've put on there, quite thick on this, and they do have a pattern. There's four of them, so it should do a decent job of holding things. The point on the left, you can actually unscrew that if you want, but in the two points that are raised, what they do is prevent the plate from slipping off the head, even if it's not fully screwed in. Standard quarter inch thread on this, and you notice on the right hand side there is some thread on the aluminium plate. So what you can do there is just unscrew it and take that out completely if you want to. They put that gap there, the slider, so that you have a bit of space to move the plate around if you need to. It's going to vary quite a bit depending on the camera that you're going to attach it to. So for example, this one, it's quite a bit smaller so I'd probably need to move it to the left or you could just turn it around and that way you'll be able to get to the battery compartment. I've never really had a problem using it both directions on different cameras though it depends on the size of the camera. So for medium or SLR size cameras I'd usually have the plate going across but you could use it going forward to back depends if you've got a heavier lens on there to support. It's easy enough to tighten it up with the D-ring you really don't need to use a coin or anything on these because of that D-ring that's built in. I'll just show you turning into the phone holder now. You'll see that the two lugs there are spring-loaded and they prevent it from turning around. So you have to pull that out on the right-hand side and the bottom part moves quite freely. The top part on the right-hand side, you need to push that and that's got a bit of resistance on it so it doesn't fall down once you've put it into the tripod. I think they've got the tension about right on this. The Xiaomi one that I looked at, the selfie stick, that was a bit on the strong side and it should be wide enough to fit most phones. I put the size up there for you. A couple of close up shots on the pads. They're pretty thick and they do have a pattern on them so it should stop phones slipping around. And we do have the quarter inch threads on the bottom and on the top so you could attach it to a selfie stick or you could add other items like a microphone or an LED panel on the top. You could screw that in. You'll notice that the tension holds the clamp upright, stops it falling over, and I think it's enough even with a fairly large phone. And I'll show you putting it into the top of the head. You obviously don't have those retainers to prevent it slipping off. That's the only potential downside when you're using it as a phone holder. Because the top part of the clamp isn't as wide, it means that you're less likely to have a problem. And I'll show you compared to a sort of standard plastic one. When you put that on the plastic one, you'll have to move it off center because it's much wider because of the power button. Only disadvantage I can see with this is with a thick case, you might have to angle it out slightly just to avoid that lug. You can take that out if you want, it's entirely up to yourself. Only really a problem if you've got a very thick phone or case, otherwise it seems to be fine. Also handy that you can use that top part to attach a microphone or an LED light, something like that. Quite a good product. It's interesting, it's different, and it is quite useful, particularly if you use a camera and a phone and you just want one simple device to do that.